Hi, I'm Heather Montez Ireland, and um, I'm introducing myself. I'm new to critical praxis, but I'm also new to this idea of um, of actually videoing oneself or YouTube. Um, I'm excited to be a part of this channel. And so I just wanted to introduce myself to you briefly and tell you a little bit about what I hope that this channel is going to do moving forward, along with um, some of my great colleagues. So um, first and foremost, I am a doctoral student in gender studies, and I have a minor in Latino Latina studies. And so my research interests are in um, an analysis of gender, race, class, and sexuality in political economy. I'm currently working on a project around microfinance and the ways in which it is experienced, uh, that microfinance is experienced by women of color um, in a U.S. context. And I also have research interests in critical mixed race studies, kind of writ large, as well as um, Latina Latino sexuality studies and other racialized sexuality studies that have roots in women of color feminisms. So along with my identities as an emerging scholar and a doctoral student, I also identify really strongly as a teacher. And that's one of the reasons that I'm really excited to be a part of this project. I feel like it is important um, not only to gain knowledge, but also to have conversations with others and to share knowledge and to have discussions in ways that will not just benefit oneself in terms of um, knowledge just being kind of a selfish intellectual enterprise. Um, so in my own work and what I hope to do on this channel and what critical praxis means to me is that all of our work um, in the academy and outside of the academy, but of course, in the academy specifically, um, is what we're focusing on here a lot because that is uh, a big part of our social locations. And the academy itself is a place of meaning making and it holds a lot of power. Um, so critical practice, as I was saying, means to me that we do more ethical work. Um, that we're able to do feminist and social justice work in a variety of ways. That the work that we are doing, whether it's feminist social justice work um, directly, or if it's some other type of work that doesn't look um, the way that people say that social justice work should look, like um, that we are still able to do the best and most ethical work for justice in all of the places where we are. Um, so specifically in the academy, I'm really interested in challenging um, the academy's pursuit of intellectualism or the pursuit of knowledge just for the sake of knowledge. I think many people believe strongly that the academy should pursue knowledge to benefit uh, the greater good and to benefit humanity in a larger sense. I believe many people do feel that way and so um, I'm clearly not the only one. However, there are many uh, doctoral students today, for instance, because of the economy that we live in, because of the nature of a neoliberal uh, market-based economy and society, that we feel very strongly that we have to uh, compete with other doctoral students. We have to find our niche. We have to make our mark to be able to, um, you know, pursue a career in the academy. And while in many ways that is very true, one of the results of that type of thinking about the work we're doing is to um, limit the types of collaborative work that we can do with others, um, as well as I believe that it limits um, the type of ethical work that we're doing. Because if our pursuit 
of knowledge has a goal of benefiting ourselves and our careers, then clearly um, that as the overarching goal is uh, going to be kind of a, a, you know, a means or an end in itself, then, um, you know, what, what really are we doing here? I guess those are some of, of the questions that I ask myself and that I ask of my colleagues, but especially those of us who are in um, marginalized fields such as gender studies, ethnic studies, sexuality studies, and the like. So yes, I believe that the work we're doing should absolutely be intellectually demanding, um, obviously, and for, for obvious reasons. I um, feel strongly about the pursuit of knowledge. Um, I think it's an amazing thing. I think the job that I have is amazing to be able to, um, you know, it's a cool gig to be able to be kind of paid, not well, but to be paid to, um, to do this work as a scholar. Um, however, I think that education does not just happen from the top down. I think that um, there are ethical uses of, of power, um, of knowledge and the power that we get from gaining knowledge. Um, that also shouldn't just be happening one way. And in reality, it doesn't happen just one way. Um, there is a lot of knowledge that I believe that I have gained just from uh, many of the people in my life and um, the communities that I come from and from conversations that I've been able to have with others. So that's my take on critical praxis and on um, kind of our, our place as um, feminist and social justice academicians. Um, and clearly I am not one yet. I am a young uh, emerging scholar. And um, so I hope to kind of make my imprint on uh, both this channel and on the academy and the people that are around me. So um, again, that is me. Uh, and I look forward to this channel and talking with more of you, and I hope to see some feedback and more um, interactive, I guess, conversation uh, between viewers and those of us who are the um, talking heads on this channel. So.